No, because I wish I wish I knew. If I knew, I can give you the answer, though. But just I don't know. It's not even not even just buying into what's going on. Just buying to the preparation, buying to the the process, buying to the stuff that they make us go through every week. I just excuse my French, just be damn if I go to work every week, prepare myself, look at film, live inside a, a training facility, do everything that this coach asks me to to come out here and keep displaying this. Like it, it bothers you, and if it doesn't bother you, don't love football. It bothers me. It just bothered me to know that you got a good week of practice. With the game plan is in. Now just execute it. Be, be the bigger man. Know this dude across and know what you're going to do. Just beat him. I don't care if you know what I'm doing. Just beat him. But I just feel like they didn't, we didn't want it enough. We didn't, we didn't want that bad enough. Like other teams we didn't play and we didn't brought down to the edge. They want it because they, they follow details. They, they picked up certain things about us. They, they game plan for us. And when we didn't do certain things we needed to do, we just got to get better as a team. And even next year, it's not going to get any easier. You're going to keep playing playoff teams. Yeah. Now, you just have to wonder. I mean, you have to figure out how to beat playoff teams. Don't even look at the season. Just look yeah. at playoff teams. That's it. Is it the execution or is it the game plan? Keep going back to those two things. <clears throat> you tell me. What it look like? You tell me. I think it might be the game plan. All right, then well, you got your answer then. I ain't agreeing with it, but you got your answer. So you think it's execution? I'm trying to figure out which one it is first. I can't put my finger on one of them. I just know we just got a hell of a team. We got a hell of a quarterback. We got great coaches around us, but it won't show. Uh, go, go back to the one of the brief question I asked before. Do you think everybody is everybody this year? Does it look like? You be true. You be true for me. Does it look like? It? No. Okay, then you got your answer again. How do you change that? How does that change? Some of. Uh, I think I heard Gandhi say this in a book I read. Only way you can change the culture, you have to change the people within it. You want to change the culture, change the people. I'm not finger pointing on who need to be changed or who need to go somewhere, but if you want a, you want a different regime, you want a different buy-in, a system like that, only way you get a different culture, you change the people that sits in it. Not putting anybody, not pointing anybody out. That's a hell of a team over there. I wish the best for them. I hope they go deep in the playoffs, but. We can't be on a level of teams like that until we understand that either the people going to buy in or we're going to just remove the culture that's around us. The games that you did win this year, do you feel like you wanted it more of those days? Is it that simple? He did. But the thing is, stop, stop waiting to get built up when you see the Patriots, when you see the Packers, or when you see these big elite teams. Do that every week. Do it every week. Do that. And we come November, when football season really start and start separating teams who going to the playoffs, who's in division stuff, you'll already be out front. You'll already know what to do. You'll already be prepared when you see these elite teams. I don't know. We must didn't buy in this year. What is it, you know, the people who look at the optimistic side of it is that you did beat the Patriots, you did beat, beat the Packers, but not having that consistency, is that the problem? Is that the key to success in the NFL? The number, number one thing, not even in the NFL in life, the hardest trait for a human being, a human being to perfect is consistency. We didn't do it. We'll be good one week, we'll be in next week. We'll be good one week, we'll be in next week. We'll be off for two weeks and we'll be good again. It's just, it just irks me to see. The consistency can't, cons consistency can't take place on a team that's good with players that's great at every position from offensive line, linebacker, tight end, kicker, snapper, whatever. We have the players. So you don't think it's a talent deficit at all? Can't, it, it can't be. Like, I, I practice with these dudes every day. You see these dudes go out here and beat some of the top corners, beat some of the best D linemen, hold some of the best D linemen. We shut down some of the best offense. Why can't you do it the next week? What's so hard about it? Just another team with a different color jersey from a different state. They either we going to or they coming to us. Prepare for it. Execute. You should, it, it should kill you to lose more than you want to win. Like, that should bother you. Like, you shouldn't have to get up every day five days a week. Just like your reporter, you get up every day and you get something done. It's like, damn, I did this point in you. I just, everybody got to have that built in them. Like, you just don't get up and just go to work. You get up and go to work to prepare for this one day on Sunday to display everything that you prepare for and now need to execute. Didn't happen.